And with all of the hype and all of the excitement around the up and coming GTX 1180, oh, sorry, I mean RTX 2080 series of graphics cards, it seemed as though it was going to be the second coming of graphics card Jesus. But with the announcement last night, I feel like we all feel a little bit disappointed. And it seems like even Nvidia is struggling to outdo their current Pascal lineup of graphics cards, at least in any applications that make sense to us today, i.e. games that aren't going to be released within the next four years maybe, except for Metro. Now I'm quite worried about this up and coming release of the touring graphics cards. There are a couple of hints in how the presentations have been dealt with that makes me think that they're not going to perform very well. And let me run you through them. Now the first thing that worries me is just straight up the specs, especially when you're looking at the RTX 2080 versus the GTX 1080. Now the GTX 1080 has 2560 CUDA cores, where the RTX 2080 has 2944 CUDA cores, which isn't a huge jump. And it's way less than the GTX 1080 Ti has, which sits at 3,500 and something CUDA cores. And then there's this single precision performance, which is something that is just a vague indication of how powerful a graphics card is, but it's the only actual performance metric we have available at this time. And if you look at the GTX 1080, it's got 8.9 teraflops, whereas the RTX 2080 has 10.1 teraflops. Now I know you might be going, but David, 10.1 is definitely more than 8.9. Yes, but it's not a lot more more. And if you compare the GTX 980 to the GTX 1080, the 980 only had about 4 point something teraflops, so the 1080 was more than twice as fast. And then if you take the GTX 1080 Ti into account, which has 11 point something teraflops, it looks like it might actually be faster than the RTX 2080 is going to be. At least the 2080 Ti seems like it's very powerful, but it's going to cost $1,200 if you buy it off Nvidia's website and $1,000 if you buy the version that everybody's going to buy. And that quite neatly brings me to my second concern around this GPU announcement. And that's the fact that they're releasing the TI variant with all the other graphics cards. Nvidia has never done that before. And I think the reason they're doing it this time is because they need a graphics card to beat the GTX 1080 Ti in their new lineup of graphics cards. Because everything points to the GTX 1080 Ti being faster than the RTX 2080 at this point, which sucks. I mean, why is the RTX 2070 not faster than the Titan V. That seems like a minimum requirement at this point. And then the first two concerns add together to make the third concern really sad, actually. And that's the cost of these graphics cards. The fact that we're going to be looking at spending about seven to eight hundred dollars for an RTX 2080, which might not be faster than a GTX 1080 Ti, that really sucks. And it really sucks because you can buy a 1080 Ti on eBay for like under five hundred dollars now. I know that that's because people are selling them to buy the new generation of graphics cards, but that might be a really Really good deal. Although there is one point in which these touring graphics cards are going to be a massive upgrade and that's going to be when it comes to ray tracing. So I'm not saying that they're not going to be better on any level, it's just that for games out today it seems like you might be better off buying a 1080 Ti. Now I'm not saying we should all go out and buy cheap secondhand GTX 1080 Ti's on eBay. All I want is for people to wait for actual reviews of these graphics cards before committing a huge amount of money to them. Anyway, it seems as though everybody's already ignored common sense because I checked on Newegg earlier and most of these graphics cards are already sold out. And that's all I have to say about this up and coming Nvidia lineup of graphics cards. Let me know in the comment section below if you think I'm being a bit too doom and gloom and what you think about this up and coming release. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, do like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And until the next one, bye bye.